Communication is now at our fingertips, but over a century and a half ago, our messages used to be carried by horseback. This mochia filled with 1,100 letters will journey 1,966 miles on horseback, just like the original Pony Express 163 years ago. It only lasted for like 19 months, back in the 1860s to 1861, and it was kind of romantic. And before the telegraph came along, revolutionary, that a long distance correspondence from California to Missouri could get to a loved one in a week and a half or less. From here to Missouri, there's over 600 riders. So in California, we have 45 rides, riders, and they all, they're all volunteers and they all bring their own horses. We like to keep the history alive. And so direct all my acts. On Wednesday in Old Sacramento, Sacramento Postmaster Tanya Tate Fitzharris reads the same oath riders took in the 19th century. So that we know that the mail will get from destination A to destination B, they're going to protect that at all costs so that we can deliver that communication to the other end. National Pony Express Association riders across eight state chapters will trade off carrying the letters over a 24 hour, 10 day period, keeping that oath in mind. Once we take the oath and we have this uniform on, we follow that oath. But Tate Fitzharris says this 45th reenactment represents another message that shouldn't get lost in modern translation. You can do a quick text. It certainly is not the same as a birthday card from grandma with that handwritten letter of how much she loves you and cares about you and misses you. That personal connection is what makes our country as great as it is today. This reenactment of the Pony Express takes place from the 7th to the 17th of June, and you can actually track their journey through a GPS inside of the Mochia.